finishes our extra credit project for Math 1215 for Emily Dennett. In our group, we have Megan, Tasia, and Heather. Today, we are going to be discussing, discussing the importance of solving quadratic equations using two different methods. First, we have the principle of square root. In this stage, if x squared is equal to k, then x is equal to the square root of k, or x is equal to x is equal to negative square root k. Then the principle of the zero product is if a times b is equal to zero, then a is equal to zero and b is equal to zero. And this works both vice versa. Okay, um, so our problems that we're going to be solving today are 2x minus 3 times 3x minus 2 equals 0. Um, like Tasia just said, if a times b equals 0, then um, it's the same as saying a equals 0 and b equals 0. So the first thing we're going to do here is set both sides equal to 0. So we've got 2x minus 3 equals 0, and we've got 3x minus 2 equals 0. Now we're going to go back and we're going to solve for x. So we're going to add 3 to both sides, bring down the 2x, and it gives us 3. Um, then we want to get x by itself, so we're going to divide by 2 on both sides, which gives us x equals 3 over 2. And then now we have to go back to this side um, and solve for x. So we're going to add 2 to both sides bring down the 3x, so we have 3x equals 2, we want to get x by itself, so we're going to divide by 3, so we have x equals 2 thirds. So our final answer here is x equals 3 over 2 and x equals 2 over 3. Um, both of these are our answer. Um, going back to the principle of square root, if this is our problem, 6x squared equals 36, the first thing we want to do um, is get the, six x, or the x squared by itself. So we're going to divide by 6 on both sides, which gives us x squared equals 6. We want to get rid of um, the x squared, so in order to do that we have to take the square root of both sides. So that gives us x <coughs> by itself, which is going to be equal to the square root of 6, but we have to go back to our rule which says that it equals the square root, or it also equals the negative square root, so we have to go back and make sure that we also include x equals negative square root of 6. So our final answer is x equals square root of 6, x equals negative square root of 6. So these two um, methods are helpful in solving quadratic equations.